Hello there, dear YouTube friends. Welcome back to the second part of this uh, video tutorial, which is how uh, will I be able to fetch an API fr from an external API and display those API content in a repeating group in bubble.io project. So this is the second part. So if you have not watched the first one, just uh, go for the link in the description here, which is the first part. And you can just come back here once you have watched the video here. So this is going to be the second video. So let's just proceed with uh, the, the continuation part, which is the last part we have just uh, we left was this. Uh, we will be able. We must be able to fetch an API from an external API provider called uh, Remotive.io. So they they have provided their URL here, and then we have just need to display it in our Google Sheets. And yeah, you will find all those details in the first video. So, so second video, let's just proceed with displaying this content into our bubble dot uh, bubble dot io uh, project here. So I have created my bubble dot io project here. This is just going to be a simple project here called API listing, and just click edit here. And yep, before that, there must be a way for this particular uh, content of your Google Sheets to be displayed to make it into an API an API here just like this here so all you have to do just go to sheet db here dot io yep so in sheet db dot io it's a way it can actually turn your Google Sheet into a JSON API and that's where sheet db comes this is really a helpful and powerful tool for converting this uh, any of your content of your Google Sheets into a JSON API. So all you have to do is log in using Google account and just log in with whatever you have. And I just logged in. Logged in. Just uh, I already have been uh, logged into my account. So this is my already existing project. So I want to add another new project which is comes from here. This is the Google Sheets here. So just copy the Google Sheet link here. It's going to copy it and make sure you are actually sharing your content here. So before you share, you need to name, name your sharing. So this is jobs, right? So it's going to put jobs here. Just going to click OK. I mean, save. And right now you're able to say, I mean, anyone on the internet with this link can edit. OK, sure. OK, right now you have just made it available for everyone to actually edit your one. Or you don't have to make sure it's edit. You can actually keep it to uh, just view editor instead of editor. Just put view. So let's say uh, you have just made it into view and just done. And right now you have able. Let, I mean you have allowed people to view this. Just click this. Copy this link. Paste your link inside. Uh, one you have to click a new. Create a new one. Here. Yeah. And this is where you paste your paste your link here. So this is where it will prompt you to paste Google Sheet URL here from the address bar, which we just copied from. So I just paste it here and I'm just going to click create API here. Love this. And there you have it. You have your JSON API uh, project have been listed here. So this is your your link here. I mean, this is not the link, but this is the, the directory of the project. So all you have to do, you need, you need to go to here, uh, not to this is, this is go to API view. All you have to do just go to here. Go to API URL. So this is your API URL here. This is the content of your JSON. So all you have to do copy this copy this URL again. So this is the way how you will be able to accept. I mean receive this uh, your Google Sheet content in a uh, JSON API uh, URL. So once you have uh, come this far, just copy this link. And next up, we're gonna go back to our bubble project here, which we just created. And this is just a boilerplate here. We don't need, we won't be needing this. Just go to a new, add a new page here, and just create a new page called Jobs. Just gonna create a new page here. And before I forget, let me just go to plugins. So in plugin, we have an extension called uh, API. It's uh, yeah, API connector. Just install it. Once you have installed it, click on done. And there you are. This is the uh, API connector plugin, which we have just installed from the uh, plugin extensions. 
So first thing we have to do is to actually add another API here. So this is where your where you will be adding your API. So here we, we're just going to put uh, this put jobs and since your, it's going to be the name of the API and we also have to name our call our just I'm just going to name it job call insert sorry. sorry I need to expand it to actually edit this so this is going to key in a job and call so this is just to label them off nothing to get actually dynamic yet so once you have reached here all you have to do is to click this uh, yeah, you have to fill up this form, fill up this uh, field here with the API, the JSON API which we just have created here. Yep, as you can see here, just need to copy this and we just need to paste it here. So once you have pasted here, this is going to be the uh, the URL of the uh, JSON API which we have just copied. And next thing we should do is to initialize this call here. Click on initialize call. Okay, there you go. Once you have initialized the call, we just to make sure that all of the field have been uh, has been pro prompting properly from the from the uh, Google Sheets that we have just made it. So yeah, for me, I find it's all perfectly uh, been labeled. And I'm just gonna click on save here. And yeah, there you go. Now you have made your op your API call ready to be called inside your project. So I'm just gonna go to my uh, design here. So this inside, inside, inside the design section, I'm going to have the, the, the extent, I mean the tool that I can be able to make the list in my bubble uh, project. So in this case, I'm going, to, I'm going to go for repeating group. Just click on repeating group and drag it to the center, just drag it to your project here. And this is the one, this is your, going to be your project here, just going to make it a bit bigger. And to the center, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And next up, I would like to add is the rows and columns. I would like to have the number of columns to be uh, five, like this, so that I'll be able to see the list, all the list of my jobs that I wanted to see it in this particular repeating group. So, and then of course, your repeating group, uh, you should have the type of content to be job call. Of course, job call is, is exactly what we have just uh, named, named the uh, extension of the, of the plugin. And next is data source. So data source is going to be, we are going to get data from an external API, which is job call. Yep. Close it. And there you go. You have done with the repeating group. Next, we're going to, we're going to make sure the content, what content are we wanted to, to repeat in a list form, right? So let's go ahead and take this text here. Uh, click on the text and then just, just put it inside here. And make sure your this, the outline is being highlighted in red so that it, it just indicates that you're you're putting a content within the group so that it repeats for every single uh wait let me uh, let me just like reduce the size of this uh with i just want 100 and x to be okay okay this is going to be the first uh, top content of your list. So what I would like to pass is that insert dynamic data. Just going to put current sales job call, and the field that I would like to display is the title. Yep, the title of the job is going to be the one that I would like to display it first. And there you go. This is the title. And after title, let me just arrange it properly. Yep. Besides title, I would also like to display another important. Uh, Part of the jobs, which is the the company name, the name, the company that I would like to, uh, how do you say, yeah, the, I would like to apply for, right? And also, the next thing I would like to add is I would also like to add uh, the image, right? I would like to have uh, an image of the. Let me just reduce this thing called. Okay, and rows. I would like to have it one for now. Okay, I just have enough of room. Just gonna make it like this. And it's gonna add another new uh, element called uh, image. Yep. The, I would like to have the logo of my of the job that I wanted to uh, call. So wait, just I'm just gonna make the size of the uh, logo of the image to be smaller. Let me just 
uh, just put 80 and 80 okay there you go let me just bring the size a bit bigger and bring these things down a bit a bit into the center and you have your image in the center here as well okay they are all aligned in the center so this is this is going to be your dynamic image so also need to call the dynamic image as well just going to go here and current cells jobs call and you have company logo url and then done okay so this is the the, the repeating group of your jobs so yep i think I, I guess we are done so let's go ahead and check this particular project that we have just made so all you have to do is to just click on preview here so once you have clicked on preview you'll be able to redirected to another uh, i mean to your a page where where your whatever you did in your bubble you'll be prompting here so we're just gonna just need to make sure that you have uh, our project is being displayed and wait for it and there you go and of course some of the content of your image is not being displayed maybe maybe it's due to the empty field that we have just seen here so you can see this this is empty 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 so i mean not to not to worry it's just something nothing, nothing to do with you nothing to do with the api call so and that's all guys this is the uh, let me just edit a bit more so that it looks better just gonna put a full list yep just gonna show full list so that it'll, it'll not it'll look nicer in in and yeah looks yeah it'll look far more decent and yep user friendly and there you go this is the repeating group of jobs that we have just uh, that I just promised you guys on how to do it. And okay, that's all from me. Thank you guys for watching this entire two-part video uh, of me trying to explain you guys on how I was able to fetch an API. And this is an open source API, by the way, where they produce, where they provide uh, free data of jobs that are being offered in their platform. And also would like to thank uh, for the rest of the uh, team, I mean, to my uh, uh, friends who have been inviting me, I mean, have been teaching me on how to, I mean, introducing me on how to use Bubble for the first time. And, yep, thank you guys for watching again. And see you in the next video. And till then, thank you. See you soon.